it's time for another picking video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a pick video. So we have about 33 items to pick so far for our Friday, Saturday and Sunday morning. So let's get straight into it. Before we get into it, we want you guys to let us know in the comments what was your favorite sale from this weekend. Let's get into the picking and look at that. We've maintained the 90K. We have been up and down around that point, down to 89, then up to like 9,500. But let's get into these 33 items. Are you ready to pick? We're just having a moment. <laughs> All right, first up, we have this Nintendo Super Advantage Killer Instinct SNES pack. Now this went for $340 plus international post, I think 70 bucks international. $70 to France. Um, this wasn't even complete, so I didn't actually have the box game, uh, but I did have the game and I didn't have the CD. But this set is very, very hard to come by. I actually couldn't find any comps, so I just listed it super high and it sold. Just make it up. We got another one of those $10 DVDs going out the door, Pinocchio with Robbie K, Region Zero. So you can play that on pretty much any player. Oh, Pinocchio freaked me out as a kid. Did you like it? Did it creep you out? Xbox game going out there. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 for the Xbox. Classics? $24.95. It's a one. Some of my personal Goosebumps collection going out the door. These lot of Give Yourself a Scare from R.L. Stein. It's those shiny covered ones. Oh 18 God. of those sold for $135 plus $20 post. Gonna be okay. 11 inch Nin Ninja Turtle going out the door, Raphael. I've uh, got this from Savers, I think, for like $5.99. Sold for $29.95, free post. It's probably gonna. It's the big boy. Probably gonna sneak into maybe a medium. I'm not sure. We'll see what postage comes out like. Small for sure. You reckon? I'll make it a box. If it fits, it ships, right? I don't think it's going in a bubble now, <laughs> mate. I tried. All right, we've actually got three Shadowrun books going out to the same buyer. So we've got Shadowrun 7323, Shadowrun Cyber Technology, and Shadowrun 2.0. Now, they're all in the different boxes, so this is going to be are. fun. Let's get into it. First one up is in E, which is this one right here. E is the stack. First one here went out for $20, Shadowrun 2.0 Virtual Realities. Oh. Virtual realities check. The next one is this Shadowrun 7323. That one should be an F. Give you that one right there. Shadows of the Underworld. And the last one from that set was this Cyber Technology for 40 bucks. Beautiful. Another one of my personal N64 collection going out the door, Banjo Tui. We sold that for 120 bucks. So I've been selling off sort of bits and pieces from my personal collection, just stuff that I'm not super nostalgic for and happy to get a little bit of money out of. So that one's gone as well. Banjo. We got this toy lot in lot number four. This one sold for $49.95. There was like different brands, Procon, Papo, all different types, 23 of them all together and sold for 50 bucks. Now we sold this ultimate entertainment pack for Xbox. Now the console is faulty. So we thought there'd be some value in the box. So we just made sure we included the title that was faulty. So for hundred bucks plus $20 post. Not too shabby. You guys know that we love selling ink. We sold this Canon 513 color ink cartridge for $44.95. We haven't found a heap lately, but when we do, they always do quite well. Another one of those discounted DVDs, Yellowstone, sold for $10 plus $3.30 postage. There is nothing exciting about that sale. Just get out. Another ink out the door, $21 for this 935XL in the yellow. HP, uh, the colours don't do super well in this unless you can get like a full set of Pepper <laughs> trying to help. 935 XL. Old school Atari Woody going out the door. Atari 2600, 13995. Uh, that came from the bulk game lot. Now this powered up had picture, but uh, couldn't test the sound properly. So we've included that in the listing. Hopefully the buyer has read it and uh, no return. I'm guessing this is why it's called a Woody? Yeah, that's correct. Nice. Another faulty system, these two Xboxes, an Xbox and an Xbox 360. For parts or repair, untested, 80 plus $20 post, so 100 bucks for 
two consoles that are going to need some form of repair so happy with that we actually looked up how much we had made in the last year selling consoles and it was more than we thought and i think a lot of them were busted so can't complain all right we've got ourselves a record this deep purple live made in japan for 39.95 plus 12.80 post i listened i read the comments i took the advice and it's all in order so if jasmine knows her alphabet I should be able to just flick to D and find Deep Purple. Goosebumps box set of 10 books, again from my personal collection. Oh. Going out the door, $44.95, going to a new home. This Gorman piece sold super quick. So Gorman cross Monica Forsberg budgie jumper. Jazz literally found this like two days ago. Found it at Savers on Friday, listed it Saturday morning, and it sold before we had even gone out to garage sales. Sold in about an hour, so keep an eye out for that budgie. 10 into 79.95. Just a Marnie box from Champions Path for 95 plus 12 80 post. Just mine. And again, this is stuff that's been pulled from my personal collection, so profits on it aren't going to be huge, but it's nice to get some of that money back for our future endeavors. And someone's going to love it for Christmas, I think. Super cheap SNES game going out there. Rise of the Robots for SNES, $17.50 tracked. So we're probably going to make a few bucks on that after our fees and shipping. Not many of those left. One of those little VHSC TDK cassettes has gone out the door for 20 bucks. These are the ones that you use in like video cameras and stuff like that. Um, so it only sort of cost us seven or eight dollars to post. So we'll probably make what, ten bucks after everything. I think so. You know what I always do though when we sell one of these? I think it's a full size VHS, and I think I've lost it. <laughs> little sucker. Got a little Mark Rashido commemorative coin for three hundred games. This came from one of the bulk lots uh, that we got recently, so that one sold for thirty five bucks. This one here is from Garage Sale Trail last weekend, so that sold super quick. Sixty nine ninety five for this Nikon Coolpix L twenty seven digital camera with the box. We paid nine dollars at the garage. Uh, no, five dollars at the garage sale for that. Five dollars. We didn't get heaps at garage sale trail on the first weekend, but it's all sold really well. We got ourselves an LG DVD recorder and VCR combo for two hundred and fifty plus twenty dollars post. Uh, this one was from Lot Two, I believe. So that would be adding to that tally that we've been keeping on track on for a little while. Mean that's all profit. Peppa, what are you doing? This little Mario Kart for DS, um, we got in that gaming lot that we picked up last week, I think it was. $19.95, so not huge money, um, but we can send that one untracked because we have put that in the listing. Domestic untracked letter. We have a Walden Miller leather motorcycle jacket going out the door for $119. This was dirty when we first got it. All this panel here was like a bit grimy, but... I mixed a little bit of my Angelus Easy Cleaner, which is okay to use on leather, mixed it with a bit of water, microfiber cloth, scrubbed up beautiful. All right, we have one of the Hot Wheels sets that we listed up recently. You sold this one for 110. Pre-packaged. They've been sitting in the cupboard for ages. We were taking oh. these to markets like way back in the day and that we just years. never relisted them. Um, but we've sold like three sets of these in the last like month. So. Why didn't we do it sooner? All right, guys, this was the remote from that um, DVD VCR combo that we picked up at the garage sale trial last weekend. Now, the combo didn't work because the VCR was busted. We paid $5 for the lot. We've sold the controller for $34.95. Yeah. And I think we sold the busted um, set for like $69.95. So pretty happy with Winning. that. Little Pokemon Diamond version guide, $49.95 out the door. that guy there with these we always just let our customers know in the description whether it has the bits from the back because a lot of people are looking for one with the map or the poster they still sell with it taken out though all right that's it from inside today a couple items from out in the shed so let's uh head out and grab those what's today's collection vessel jasmine trusty ikea bag beautiful day today Not too much to actually get from the shed today. We usually have a lot of secondhand clothes going out, but in the lead up to Christmas, we're definitely seeing more like hard goods and collectibles. Little Oakley Ben's long sleeve going out the door for $30. Oakley sort of slowed down a little bit for us. We don't pick it up a lot unless it is a little bit unique. So let us know in the comments below. Do you guys sell Oakley and does it do well? These black milk did not last long at all. Jazzy found these, what, a week and a half ago at Savers? Yeah. Sparkly, shiny goodness. Those ones ended up selling for $65.
New with tags is doing well for us in the lead up to Christmas. This Aaron Williams Isa Utility A line skirt sold for sixty five dollars. I might have to take LR nineteen inside with me and fill it up again. It's getting empty. Another new with tags item. This Aaron Williams women's silk cotton blend polo shirt sold for forty nine ninety five. Needs so a bit of a steam. That is it guys. Don't forget to comment below what was your favourite sale that you made this weekend. Next week we will have an entire video that is dedicated to our second trip out on the Garage mm. Sale Trail. Make sure you stick around for that one and we will see you next week on Twilly Thrifters. Bye for now.